Hello, parents and students. We welcome you to our EDFN Grade 9 registration presentation. My name is Krista Hayes and I am the principal of EDFN. Today we will be sharing with you what you need to know about our Grade 9 programming and how to register. We are excited for you to become a part of the FIAN family. Our motto is, I belong to the FIAN family, who I am makes a difference. Let's begin with our school prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. God of all creation, we thank you for the opportunity to be members of the Fian family. In your spirit, we have freedom to foster our faith, vision to celebrate our unity, and courage to reach out in charity. Continue to grace our lives so that together in this spirit, we will make a difference. With Mary, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Kateri, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. At E.D. Fian, we are a small Catholic high school with only about 500 students. We are a diverse community and proud to be a Following Their Voices school, where our focus is on building relationships with students, listening to their perspectives, and supporting them to be successful. Students of all faiths are welcome at E.D. Fian. Our small school environment allows us to get to know our students well and do personal scheduling from year to year. We are focused on career planning for students to help guide them in their future. We also have smaller class sizes and specialized programming. We have a wide variety of services and support programs at EDFN. As you can see from this very long list, students will be well supported and taken care of at our school. In grade 9, students will take Catholic Studies 90, two Englishes, one in the first semester and one in the second semester, two Maths, one in each semester as well, and one of the Maths has a career education portion, a Science, a Social Studies, a General Practical Arts, where students will take a rotation of Industrial Arts, which involves woodworking, Home Ec and Cooking, and Health 90. We also have a choice in grade nine. Uh, students can choose to take Arts Education 90, which is a rotation of art, music, and drama. And in the music portion, uh, they focus on the guitar. Or you can take Band 90. And in Band 90, uh, there is elements of art and drama as well. But if you have played an instrument in the past or you wanna get involved in band and learn how to play an instrument, this is the course for you. So when you're filling out your registration forms, you can choose Arts Education 90 or Band 90. And if you're in Band 90, please indicate your instrument. And last but not least, we have a Physical Education 90. And this class usually runs throughout the year to allow students to be physically fit the whole entire year. And last but not least as well, uh, Choir 90 is an optional class that students can take over the lunch hour. So if you want to sign up for Choir 90, you can also indicate that on your registration form. And that's the extra class that runs a couple times a week at noon. In grade nine, we have a transition program where students take four of their classes with the same teacher. This allows for a smoother transition to high school as the students have one main teacher to support and help the students get acquainted with the school. In the transition programs, the students take the two English classes, Catholic Studies and Social Studies. Here's our traditional five period day from last year and years previous. As you can see, we started at 8.40 in the morning and went till 3.10. There were three classes in the morning, two classes in the afternoon with about a 45 minute lunch hour. And in the past, we've had ILO, which stands for Independent Learning Opportunity which is a great uh, focus for students so that they can get their homework done and um, keep up with their assignments during the school day. Here's our current block schedule for this year. Students only take two classes at a time with student support or tutorials at the end of the day. We're still determining our schedule for next year and we'll definitely keep you posted as more details come.
Our Meal Machuan program is another option for grade 9 students. Here are some of the photos from the land-based learning opportunities, cultural arts projects, TP teachings, and our Orange Shirt Day. In this program, Indigenous culture and land-based learning is integrated into six of the grade nine classes. Four of the classes are co-taught with two teachers in the room. And this cohort of students are together throughout the grade nine year. We're so fortunate to have this program and it is now extending all the way from grade nine through 12. So if this is a program you're interested in, please indicate it on your registration form. We have specialized programming for grade nine students. Recommendations for these programs is by the grade eight teacher. Some of the options for specialized programs are Bridge Math 90, which allows students who are struggling with uh, elementary school mathematics to focus on those topics and outcomes and then work their way up to Math 90. Co-taught Mathematics 90 is for students who are in the regular grade nine mathematics program, but just need a little bit of extra assistance with the two teachers in the room. And English as well would also be for students who are able to access the regular grade nine curriculum, but just need that little extra support and organization with the two teachers in the co-taught program. We have modified programming for students who have been recommended for modified. And we have learning assistance tutorials for students who need extra support with getting their homework done or keeping up with uh, assignments. We also have EAL programming. Uh, we have a transition program for EAL students in grade nine and shelter programming in, in future years, as well as EAL literacy classes for students who are still learning to uh, master the English language. Even though we're a small high school, we still offer a wide variety of course offerings and electives in grade 10 through 12. As you can see from this extensive list, there are tons of options and many of these are unique to ED Fian. For example, we offer Cree programming, we offer cultural arts, our construction program and interior finishing program is unique to ED Fian. Uh, courses like healthcare and entrepreneurship are also classes that I believe are only offered at EDC and high school. We are so excited to get our clubs and activities back and running for our students. Many of these have been developed as a result of student interest. Unique to EDC is the Focus on the Family event where our students volunteer in the community to give back. And the Special Olympics is an awesome provincial wide event that we host each year and our students are a part of organizing and leading. We have a complete high school athletic program with both junior and senior teams. In addition, hockey is an option for our students, which is not an option at many other high schools. As a small school, there's lots of opportunity to get involved with sports and activities. We are also home to the Cree program in grade 10 and 11 for next year. Our Mio Machuin program is also available in grades 9 to 12. There are tons of great supports and opportunities available in these programs. Please let us know if you're interested. EDFN is also home to an amazing construction program where students build a house. Um, quite often you'll take this program in grade 11 or grade 12. You take construction 20 and 30 in the first semester and interior finishing 20 and 30 in the second semester. You can get four high school credits, apprenticeship hours and potential some work, summer work experience. The house is built in the first semester and the house is finished in the second semester and as you can see from the photo this is an example of uh, the product that is there at the end of the program. Okay so at this point um, we've gone out and done grade 8 classroom visits to our EDFian feeder schools, the schools that are surrounding Fian in, in the area. 
Um, this is our virtual grade eight open house uh, through this PowerPoint. And we also put together a video that you can watch on our website. And so now we're looking forward to collecting registration forms. So hopefully you have a registration form, hopefully from your grade eight uh, teacher, and you can fill that out and get that back to them. If not, we have registration forms on our website that you can print off and fill out and drop off at the school or email in as well. So we're super excited about getting your registration forms so we can begin planning for next year. This is just a photo of us decorating up the school and uh, getting it all ready for when the grade nines come uh, to Fian this past year. One of the things that's always good for grade nines to know is that that first day it's just grade nines, uh, usually in the morning, and our whole focus is on welcoming you to our community and getting you comfortable in the school. So on that day, we will show you around the school, we'll help you find your classes, we'll get you your lock and locker, and the whole purpose of that, that first day is making sure that you feel comfortable and know your way around so that you're ready for, um, for school to begin the next day. These are some shots of our graduation uh, 2020. It was an unusual year this year, but we were still able to decorate the school and celebrate in an awesome way with our graduates. And we are excited for you to be part of our graduating class of 2025. And now we'd like you to, to watch a video. It is from a couple years ago, but it captures all the excitement and um, activities that do happen on what would be a normal year at EDFN. So let's take a moment and watch the video.
So thank you so much for taking the time to uh, view this PowerPoint presentation. Uh, we don't want to leave any questions unanswered, so please do not hesitate to call us at the school if you have any questions about uh, coming to FIAN in Grade 9 or about the registration process.